G'day fishos and welcome back to Fish Sticks Fishing Adventures. So today we're having a bit of a flick around Tinny Creek looking for some funnies. So if you're interested in fishing Tinny Elba Creek, I've got a few videos out there, links in the descriptions, show you a few nice little launch points. So today we're throwing around 2.5 inch Z-Man grubs on a 1 8 or 3 gram jig head. And I think they are blood wriggler colour. You can see it's a popular little spot with kikers coming past. So we're on already. Yeah, there's nothing like the sound of that real screaming. <laughs> Get them close to the boat or the kayak and they want to take off again. Never playing by the rules. So a couple of little fishing tips for this fishing trip. Uh, always throw your rod over the side there, somewhere it's got a little bit accessible and you can still throw a bait out, it'll do something. So once you've taken your hard body out, or your soft plastic in this case, just work it out of the fish's mouth just there. Double check and throw it back overboard. There's no point leaving it in the kayak unless you're gonna get snagged up below, but now that's sitting on the bottom, it's bouncing around and it's bait for something else. And I suppose you should always get that fish back in the water or in the live bag as quick as you can. Don't bother showing off or you might just lose it. Yeah, not a bad little pan sized fuddy there. But just remember when you're doing this type of thing, that hard body or that uh, jig head is soft plastic is bouncing in the bottom and you can see there the rod's starting to get a little bit of action. We lean over to get the live net and the camera just pans round and you can see the end of that rod tilting over now. So something's going for a bit of a run. So I usually keep a nice little live net on board so there's pan size flooding that I want to keep. I can throw it inside there. Oh, there goes the rod again. So I keep the live net on board so the pan size flooding I want to keep I can throw it in there and at the end of the day I can decide whether I want to keep them or let them go keep them nice and healthy and use a bit of pool noodle just to keep it floating on the top just in case you get come across some of those snags yeah, that yeah, fishing rod's still going a bit crazy there oh yep she's woken up taking some more string and don't forget if you like these videos give us a thumbs up subscribe give us a comment so not a bad, bad little catch there for doing absolutely nothing just dead sticking or leaving your soft plastic in the water uh, when you're drifting you can catch your flatties and a whole range of different fish doing that well worth the effort here we go, got him on board. That brings us to the second tip. And using those bogey grips, the lip grips, make sure you hold them right. Because silly me decided to hold them by the, the bottom handle, not the top handle. As you can see there, gives a bit of kick, a bit of weight to it, and it's gone. Checking it out from the different angle, see the fingers around the bottom area there, not the top. Nice little fish. Bit of a kick, and it's gone. You know, that's life, that's fishing. And thanks again for watch watching guys, so if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and even share. Anyway, 
top lines and fish on.